So the Pokemon Home update is finally coming. Uh, they said early 2023, and I guess halfway into the year is early? At least the first half of the year, I guess, is early. But hey, uh, May 24th, we are getting the update here for Pokemon Home to allow transfer capabilities back and forth between Scarlet and Violet to home. Additionally, here we'll be able to move things from Scarlet and Violet to home and then into older games uh, such as Sword and Shield, uh, BDSP, Arceus, uh, so long as those Pokemon currently exist within those games. So basically, if you got your Charizard, for example, or your Cinderace from the Seven Star Raids, you could send them back to Sword and Shield and then vice versa. Uh, probably not going to be much of a needed mechanic, but I can kind of see why it might be nice because, you know, from there, if you wanted to, say, maybe borrow your own Enamorous from uh, Arceus and then use it in competitive Pokemon down the road in Scarlet and Violet, at least Enamorous isn't stuck in Scarlet and Violet in Limbo. You can send it back if you want to play with it in Arceus. So that is kind of a nice little feature there, but... Um, that's kind of the main takeaway here. So, uh, on top of that, what's going to be going on is we're going to be able to get the hidden ability starters. So, we'll be able to get Protean, Meowscarada, Unaware, Skeledurge, and Moxie, Quaquavel, if you haven't already done so. I'm kind of excited for the Quaquavel because I did the first two and then I kind of just, yeah, I never really built a Quaquavel. So, I can at least get that within a week. But, I digress. That's not the whole reason why I'm doing this a little bit. Uh, we're here to talk about Basque Legion, so let's jump on into that. So I thought it would be fun to take a look at some of the transferable Pokemon that can come to Scarlet and Violet and talk about some potential movesets for when they become legal in competitive play. Now, one thing that I thought was, let's start with Basque Legion. And why Basque Legion? Well, for one thing, it's got two different forms. It's got a great typing of Water Ghost and a gay Basculin the evolution that it's been looking for since day one of its debut of Generation 5. It only took three generations for it to finally find it, and only a select amount of Basculin can evolve into Basculegion. But here you go. So, Basculegion here is a water ghost type, which is a great typing here. We have two immunities to normal and fighting type attacks. We have six re different resistances to water, fire, steel, bug, poison, and ice. And then we have four weaknesses to Electric, Ghost, Dark, and Grass. And on top of that, we get three really great abilities. We have Adaptability, which doubles our stab. Um, we have Swift Swim, which doubles our speed if rain is on the field. And it doesn't take much to hit that 107 sweet spot uh, on a non-speed boosting nature. Uh, on top of that, we have Mold Breaker, which can bypass abilities right there nice thing about mold breaker is maybe your opponent wants to be a little bit cheeky maybe they want to switch in a storm drain mon and you just go for either a straight up wave crash or a hydro pump and just blast them think about it gastronaut is neutral to uh water when storm drain isn't active that's gonna hurt gonna hurt a lot uh and it's also a lot better than my previous example because when i was trying to do this in previous takes i was like so hypothetically levitate electric types are a thing and this thing does get mud shot don't use mud shot though but you could in theory there you go uh you could just nail a storm drain mon with a hard hitting uh wave crash or hydro pump depending on if they're uh, neutral to water or not right there with basculation food for five so, as far as our stats break down as well with Basque Legion here, our attack on the physical set, or on the male set, is a little bit higher than the female, and the special attack on the female is higher than the male. As far as the rest of the stats break down, though, it's all the same. We have 120 HP, 65 defense, 75 special defense, and 78 speed. Male Basque Legion has 112 attack and 80 special attack, while female Basque Legion has 92 attack and 100 special attack. Now, 100 and 112 are not the biggest numbers for damage dealing stats, but that's all right because adaptability can uh, further increase the amount of damage right there. Like I said, these things get access to Wave Crash and Hydro Pump, uh, both of which are high base power moves. Uh, Wave Crash has significantly better accuracy than Hydro Pump, but uh, the damage is still there for both moves. 
Now, let's talk about the male Basque Legion here, because what I was thinking with male Basque Legion is we could run Choice Band, uh, we could run Choice Scarf, depending on which ability we're running, um, or we can run a Life Orb on this thing. What I was thinking here was we take that 112, give it an adamant nature to further increase our damage output. We go max attack investment. We hit 180 points right there. Uh, we hit our 107 points in speed with 68 EVs. And then we can just dump the rest into bulk, either with all 188 into HP or a little bit into our defense or special defense, depending on how recoil numbers work from Wave Crash. Uh, right now, we're going to just set it at the 219, but we could just change it later. Uh, what I was thinking here is we go Adaptability, Choice Band, Wave Crash, and Last Respects. So Wave Crash, we're already looking at 240 after the double bonus from Adaptability to Stab is applied right there. That is amazing. We can hit extremely hard right there. If we have rain on the field, even better. On top of that, we have our choice band, which despite locking us in, that gives us a 50% boost to our attack stat right there. That can be really, really nice. Just think about it. You're already at 180. You have the choice band. You're at 240 right there with a 240 base power wave crash. You're going to take a lot in recoil, but you're going to absolutely run things over. On top of that, we can use Last Respects, which is a stronger move the longer the battle goes on, because as more teammates of Basque Legions faint, the stronger Last Respects get. Uh, you get plus 50 power for each time a party member is knocked out. So hypothetically speaking, um, you're already sitting at 50 points right there before stab. You have one KO on your team. You're already sitting at 100. You have your stab from your adaptability. You're already going to be quickly building that up. Two members go down. That's an extra 100 points right there. Last Respects was normally restricted to just Houndstone, but Basque Legion gets this as an egg move. You could pass this on from Houndstone with the Mirror Herb trick right there. That could be a nice tool to add to rain teams right uh, on top of that, we can go for Psychic Fangs for some generic non-stab coverage if the situation calls for it. If your opponent's got uh, Screens, Aurora Veil, you can break that with Psychic Fangs. You could go Terra Psychic, but I'm thinking maybe stick with Terra Water or Terra Ghost on this. Um, on top of that, if you wanted to go for other generic coverage, you can go for a Facade in case you're really worried about getting burned. Um, you could go crunch for a little bit of dark type coverage uh indeedy does wall last respects uh with its normal psychic combination so right there you could go crunch but wave crash would also just probably delete indeedy as well so you, you probably don't need to worry too much about that and for the final move set uh or move slot uh i have aqua jet to take advantage of the fact that we're kind of slow without Tailwind or Rain, so we could pick up uh, a last minute KO, especially if Basque Legion is the last thing on the field. Maybe it's switched in, maybe it's already worn down. You know Psychic Terrain's not a thing, or you're just on a non-grounded uh, opponent. You could just go for the Aqua Jet. You're already at base 80 after adaptability is applied. You have the Choice Band. It should still work as well. Now, if you wanted to run, say, a Life Orb uh, as opposed to a Choice Band, uh, I think Protect is the big the big call right there. Is You have the option to save yourself. That's the biggest thing, I think, uh, as far as male Basque Legion goes. Now, as far as female Basque Legion goes, we, uh, we can go uh, one of two routes uh, that I was mainly thinking. Uh, and both Adaptability and Swift Swim can be applied here. Um, I think you can go either a bulky support uh, Swiss Swimmer, or you can go for a just straight up uh, damaging Swiss Swimmer slash adaptability abuser. So what I was thinking here is the same um, EV spread as the male, just inverting the special attack and attack uh, breakdown here. We can go for Shadow Ball to take advantage of uh, just general damage. We have Chilling Water to take advantage of either the speed boost from Swiss Swim to 
slow down the, or not slow down, to lower the opponent's physical attack. Uh, I'm starting to get ahead of myself because I have Icy Wind on here. That's the slowdown move right there is Icy Wind. Uh, you have the Chilling Water to lower your opponent's physical attack. Uh, on top of that, if you have Rain on the field, you're getting a 50% boost to that in addition to your stab anyways. So that's nice uh, stacking damage right there. You have Icy Wind. And Icy Wind can be really nice here on a Swift Swimmer because maybe you have... Um, Faco, maybe your Pelipper already went down, or your manual rain setter. Maybe they already went down. You bring out, say, Iron Hands. You can go fake out and then get the icy wind, hit a potentially faster thing, and now Basculi Legion can just clean up on the next turn. And a big thing that I think that can threaten Basculi Legion is Iron Bundle, because Iron Bundle does have uh, freeze dry. It also has the ability to run that booster energy, and that's also why. Um, with the exception of this Basque Legion on my screen, why I have Terra Ghost on the male and then Terra Ghost on the other female is to get rid of the freeze dry weakness uh, that water has. So what I was thinking there is maybe say you have Iron Bundle on the field uh, staring you down. You fake, it, you fake it out with Iron Hands. If it's booster energy, great. You just slowed it down with Icy Wind from Basque Legion after Iron Hands uh, faked it out. If it's Focus Sash, well, now you just broke the Sash iron bundle doesn't have the greatest uh special defense stat now you can clean it up uh next turn that could be a thing right there um on top of that you can do similar things to flutter main especially if they go terra fairy flutter main uh you can potentially break them uh with a focus dash with fake out if you if you really read into it and you think they're going to terra into a non-ghost type uh, you could go for the fake out, or if they've already terrored, uh, you can go for the fake out, slow them down with Icy Wind, and then Basque Legion can probably uh, do some good damage there. Uh, unfortunately, the Flutter Man has a much higher special defense stat than Bundle, so Flutter Man might actually be more of a threat to Basque Legion, but I digress. It's still workable. Um, on top of that here, if you wanted to go for straight damage uh, with Swift Swim and abuse that, you have Hydro Pump here, uh, to naturally benefit from rain uh you are at 80 accuracy which is a little bit on the risky side but if you're really worried about it you could run a storm drain user of your own and then run surf just saying you could run the surf to boost up their special attack um you have shadow ball right there uh you have ice beam as an alternative to icy wind uh and then that way too ice beam swiss swim it's a it's a pair that's gone together since uh, peanut butter and jam. So you got that. I, and I'm also kind of thinking about my own Ludicolo uh, from back in previous generations. But hey, you could do that with Ice Beam. You could run the Icy Wind. Uh, you can go for a Life Orb. You could also run Citrus Berry if you wanted to run HP or recover HP. Uh, you could work on that. So anyways, guys, and that's what I was mainly thinking about Basque Legion. I hope you guys are excited for the transferable pokemon coming to scarlet and violet through home and uh yeah i will see you with another one probably going to be another he's but anyways i will see you next time